Riddler. Riddler. Thank you. Stretch it out, moving side to side, rocking front and back on the feet, whatever feels good as you relax the weight of the head over and breathe. Then on your next breath in, we'll inhale, lift up halfway. You know what to do here, your version. And then exhale, slide it down. Ooh, my tiger pants are so slick. <laughs> Inhale, spread the fingertips, reach it all the way back up, really press into your feet. Remember your bandhas as you reach all the way up, full body stretch. And again, exhale, rain it down. We're gonna have a little fun today. Inhale, halfway lift. Notice what it feels like to be alive. Up high. So go through your checklist. Stay curious. I always talk about curiosity as an act of self-love in my classes. So we don't get bored. We're not waiting for someone to tell us what to do. But we're going through our little checklist, exploring yeah. sensations, leveling the hips, spreading off through the shoulders, just noticing, oh, my body's working this way. Okay. And then we'll take one more deep breath in here. You might lift your left side a little bit higher to see. And then we'll bend that left knee generously and squeeze it all the way up and in towards our heart. Take a second here to take a breath in and on an exhale, nose to you, really finding that sweet curve in the spine. And then we'll step the rest leg all the way up into our left. Take a second to get situated. And then we'll lift the back knee up, loop the shoulders, heart radiates forward, create space. Nice strong alignment here, stacking the bones. Good morning, internet friends, or rather, good evening, internet friends. How are we doing today? How are we, Sassy? Are we doing I'm tired? How are we, boys? They're so excited. I took out a toy that I used to only save for MRL. It's a little love bug. It has crinkle and a squeaker, and they're both all about it. So, I've not checked in with you guys all day today, and I thought I did, so I apologize. What has the day been? Um, I got the vlog up. That's always fun. Uh, what else did I do? I watched a lot of American Horror Story Coven. <laughs> and then tonight, um, my brother and I went out to eat with our grandparents. So, yay, Fizzoli is always a good time. And then ended up having an anxiety attack while we were out because... Of course, we were discussing jobs, and that has been freaking me out a lot lately because I feel the pressure. Um, but I have made a decision that I got contacted by Blue Buffalo, which is, you know, a dog food company. They also sell cat food, litter, treats, that kind of thing. I'm watching the dogs to make sure they don't run me over. So if you see me look down often, this is why. Um, they contacted me, and I'm probably going to call them tomorrow and accept the job. Um, I actually had a lady at Fazoli suggest it's also this insurance place that she worked at, so you may look into that. Um, but I was just having anxiety over so much. Jobs are overwhelming, guys. They really are. And it's also more, it's also kind of annoying when you've worked so hard to get your bachelor's degree and always told, hey, you'll get a job if you have a bachelor's degree, and then guess what doesn't happen? No job! So, well, they're kind of, boys, could you not? Now they're playing with each other. Oh, by the way, may the fourth be with you. Just so you know. Um, I was going to take a picture of MRL in his Star Wars bandana, but I'm like, eh, I don't feel like it anymore. Um, what else did I do? I finished my day five of yoga with Adrian. That was pretty awesome. And of course, showed you guys 
what the dogs typically do when I'm doing yoga. A lot of times they're in my way. <laughs> but I actually find it pretty funny, especially yesterday I was in downward facing dog, which basically you make your body into a pike. So it looks like that. Your head is here, your feet are here. And then I see Emerald flipped on his back. So his head's upside down, my head's upside down. And of course, when his head's upside down, his lips do that. So it was hilarious. Oh, the wonderful world of my dog. Um, I also worked on some training with the boys. I was getting anxiety also about MRL and training. Um, I guess because mainly heel and PA training is what we have to work on. He can do basics pretty well, and he knows his tasks. There's a couple more tasks I'd like for him to learn, but they're not, like, number one priority. Um, so I was training the boys to come to do commands when they are told to. For example, if I'm telling both of them to lay down and stay, and I call for one of them to come to me, the other one has to stay still. MRL has the biggest problem with this if I'm calling for Riddler, because he follows his brother everywhere, but he actually did pretty darn good. And so did you, Riddler. You did good. I called MRL and you stayed where you were, didn't you, buddy? Have you destroyed the bug already? Here, let me show you guys the bug before it dies. So this is what the bug looks like. It's got a crinkly body, squeaker here, squeaker there, and I think they broke it. There you go. Got that for, like, after Valentine's Day. It was a clearance thing. Yay for clearance! And now I got new sheets on my bed. That's always exciting. Because I also think Riddler might have expressed his anal glands on my bed. Um, which sounds disgusting, but I mean, yeah. You can't, you couldn't see it because it's not always got a color to it. But from working at a vet's office, I recognize the smell. The smell is awful. It's got its own particular smell. Kind of like how Parvo has its own particular smell. But I guess to me the scent of anal glands is like a fish went up your dog's butt and died. It's horrible. <laughs> I know, I have such great mental imagery for you guys. Oh, fish. But now, I'm going to make my to-do list for tomorrow because I've got a lot that I want to get done. And it's so funny how my brain freaks out when I have nothing to do, but it freaks out when I have a lot to do. So I'm like, I can't find a middle ground for my brain. Um, and right now it's raining outside pretty hard, but if it doesn't thunder or lightning, I may take a shower in the next few minutes. So that is what's going on for the evening. Hey guys, so I am out of the shower. Yay! And there's two of my boys, one of them on the bed, one of them on the chest, weirdly, and then the other one on the left seat. Um, so I wanted to remind you guys that as of tomorrow, you have two weeks left to submit your video clip for the Faces of Mental Illness project. Um... So if you're still interested in doing that, all you have to do is record a video of yourself that's, it could be at the most a minute 30 seconds, less is perfectly fine, and say your name, how old you are, what illnesses you have, the worst thing about having a mental illness, and the best thing about having a mental illness. So for example, I could say, hi, my name is Raven. I am 22 years old. I have generalized anxiety disorder, major depressive disorder, and panic disorder. The worst thing about mental illness is feeling like you are trapped on the inside and no one can help you. But the best thing about my mental illness is that I've been able to use it to inspire other people through vlogging. So, and if you'd like to do those videos and submit, You'll submit them to my email at pressingthepanicbutton at gmail.com. And the link right in the description below is the email to send it to. And I will send you an email back letting you know, hey, I got it. So if you're still interested in doing that, you got two weeks left to submit your videos. So far, I have four videos. One of them is mine. So I have three submissions. You guys know who you are. Nicole, Carissa, Alyssa, thank you. You guys are wonderful. Um, and any of you guys who want to do it, come join. 
It's Mental Health Awareness Month. Let's make people aware that mental health and mental illness is a thing. Exciting. I might also be really tired, so if I sound like I'm just... Blah, 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 that's probably why. This, the ambience kicking in. So now I'm going to sign up for the night and head off to bed. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you've had a wonderful day or night, rain or shine, whatever the world has for you today. Um, question of the day is... Um... Hmm. Ask me a question in the comments below. And I will answer them. Challenge other people to answer your question. So if a question's posted, guys, everybody should go to the comments and try to answer the question because we'll just, we'll switch this around. Who wants to start the questions first? Figure it out. So I will answer y'all's questions in the comments below and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Good night, Riddler. Good night, Emerald. Good night, Sassy.